When it comes to the capital region USA, you might be aware of its colonial roots, its Civil War history and of course the White House. But what you might not be aware of is its excellent reputation for food and wine. So I've come here to the Jefferson Vineyard in Charlottesville, Virginia to find out more. The capital region boasts over 230 wineries and Virginia has been named one of the top five up and coming wine destinations in the world by Travel and Leisure magazine. Now I'm joined by Chad and quite a few of us might be aware of Californian wines but less so about East Coast wines. Hopefully you're going to wax lyrical about some for me. So what are we going to try first of all? Well this is Chardonnay Reserve. Okay. Chardonnay is one of the most widely planted vines in Virginia. Right. The secret to the Piedmont region of Virginia is that we make a little bit of wine and it's very, very good and it all disappears every single year. This is, is sort of typical of the, of the finer style of Chardonnay uh, that we see in Virginia. There's delicacy and elegance and finesse um, with, a, with a, a slightly less aggressive use of oak. For the most part, this is a great place to come visit a little tasting room, meet the owners, meet the winemakers and the folks who run the place in a one-on-one -on -one environment where you're very close to the source of the grape. The idea here is balance and, and, and with all things, balance of fruit, oak, acid, alcohol, mm. to create a very complete wine that um, is, is in is working in perfect harmony. Most of the customers that we see, most of the clientele who come here have some varying degree of knowledge about wine and are generally very open about saying, I'm not familiar with Virginia wines. And so we take great pride in that and great pleasure in providing that education and providing an environment where people can learn. Uh, and so it's a very welcoming place and a very warm place. This is our home. So next we'll try Viognier. One of the most exciting wines coming out of Virginia these days. So here you'll find um, a similar style to the Chardonnay. In this case, almost no oak whatsoever. Okay. Um, but instead, beautiful, bright, perfumed fruits, um, a wonderful acidity, again, that pairs beautifully with food. Now, for someone who you know, usually goes down to the supermarket and thinks, I'll have a, a, a Cab Sav or a bit of Chardonnay. Sure. Why should they choose something like this? We've found that more and more people are, are sort of skewing towards Viognier and away from Chardonnay because they've found what they love in Chardonnay and they are looking for something new. Virginia is known for its hospitality. This is a warm and welcoming place. Maryland is very much the same way. We are a well-kept secret enjoyed by a very select few people uh, in the mid-Atlantic and certainly up and down the East Coast. Now that one to me is, is certainly sweeter than the bigger, Chardonnay. Yeah, bigger, yeah, fuller. Much more of like heavier, a, heavier of a taste. Viognier, our, our winemaker, is a, a, is a young man named Andy Reagan. Very talented. And Andy's point is always that Viognier is the red wine drinker's white wine. Yep. It's big, it's full, it's rich, it's got oomph. It's a, it's a departure from, from the norm. Excellent. All right, now let's go on to our third and final option. This is a Bordeaux blend made up of Cabernet Franc, Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon, and a little bit of Petit Verdot. And this is a wine that we consider our flagship red wine. This is the best wine we feel we can make on a grand scale. Um, it's sourced from our estate vineyards and from a few select vineyards around right here in our area. But it tends to be, again, sort of more European than it is California. Now I like the smell of this already. Such a red wine girl. As a girl. red wine drinker. As a red wine that. girl. I yeah. give it well, away, don't to, I? Cheers to red wine girls. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely a fan of that. You know, we tend to find something that ages beautifully. Mm. You know, five years from now, this, this wine is going to be profoundly different than it is now. And, and all for the better. But easy to drink now. Yeah, and no, certainly excellent. easy to appreciate at the moment. This is where we live. This is where we spend our time. My children play in these gardens. Um, and so when people come here, we, we are welcoming them to our home.